Hello, Bud Frable, Sales and Engineering, Midpoint Bearing. Today we'll discuss bearing packaging. Over many years, manufacturers have tracked bearing failures and grouped them into four major categories. They have found that 50% of bearings fail to lubrication, 30% to fitting and mounting, 10% to fatigue, and 10% to handling and storage. In my years of doing bearing failure analysis and training presentations, a large majority of my time is spent on operational or service failures. Very little time was spent addressing an important part of the 10% packaging. In my opinion, packaging is not 100% controllable, but steps can be taken to better protect your bearings. Most bearing manufacturers dedicate very little, if any, details on packaging specifications. Packaging is critical because it protects the bearings during the storage and shipping process. If the bearing cannot be delivered as intended by the manufacturer, can we be sure it will reach its desired bearing life? Every brand and every carrier are susceptible to delivering damaged packaging. Packaging issues can be extremely frustrating. How do you resolve? This is where midpoint bearing has an unmeasurable advantage. We are always asking our suppliers for better packaging, plus we package far above any standard. If we notice a bearing with significant movement inside the package, we fill the space with corrugated and band the bearing. On small packages, we use ample dunnage all around the product, add corner braces, double box, band, and tape. On multi-packs or large packages, we add dunnage around all the smaller boxes, tape, band, and mummy wrap. My final thought on packaging, everything we do at Midpoint Bearing is to meet and exceed our customers' expectations. Without our customers, there is no Midpoint Bearing. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions or comments at bud at midpointbearing.com and to learn more about Midpoint Bearing, visit us at midpointbearing.com. Thank you for watching. Midpoint Bearing, your distributor partner, knowledge through experience.